Hey gang, <clears throat> how's it going? It's me. It is me. And it's TTYD. So, yeah, last time we did some side stuff. And, uh, this time, hopefully, we'll do Chapter 4 proper. Also, look, look at the, the people. They appear on the title screen. Hello, Miles and Mixling. Also, I got Like I said before, I got a compressor on this game now, so let me know if the audio sounds bad at all to you. But, for some reason, just when you get into a battle, it gets super loud. Okay, before we advance, first I want to check here. Like I said, why why do I want this? Why would I want that? Looking out for the little Ouija emblem. But there was one thing that I didn't get around to doing last time that I'm going to do real quick before we get started. And that is, I did not play the other minigame. So, we're gonna do that real quick. Yes. The paper game. Uh, that's what I'm playing right now. To avoid the wind and get to the finish. Okay. A little arbitrary, but all right. Wait, Koop Koopy Koo, what you doing here? I'm in Squid Game. Okay, like it's it's a fan. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, do not do not jump off the edge, Mario. That would be preferred. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I thought I was in the safe zone. Luigi! Et tu, Luigi? Okay, how was that? Okay. So yeah, I managed to make a profit on that. I'll do it one more time, because I want to see if I can... I, I can definitely do better than that.
What? Hey, I was in paper mode. Okay, one, one more time, one more time. Okay, one more time. <laughs> you can kind of use it to your advantage. Oh yeah, first place! First place, baby! Okay, so I made back what I lost. Okay, so now now we'll actually do the thing that we're that we're supposed to do. Oh wait, actually first. We gotta talk to her because you know she tells you the stuff. She tells you the juicy deets, which, granted, it's a little creepy that we're trying to get, but you know. Okay, more about me, hmm. I really love sweets, so I ask Zesty to bake stuff for me all the time. Oh, and I love nothing better than a nice sweet cake. Sometimes when business is slow, I make it look like we're closed and sneak in a little cake break. But hey, that closed thing is a secret. Seriously, don't tell Pika. Okay, that's all for now. Maybe I'll tell you more if I get an- if you get another high score, alright? Yeah, maybe I'll tell you more if I get another high score. So this was the high scoreboard, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just- let's just go down here. Why not? Okay, wait, this is the town. So how do I... Oh yeah, that, that pipe down there. And then we just gotta squeeze in here. Moonwalk through it. Just moonwalk right on through. Okay, here we are. And I'm pretty sure you do step on this, but yeah, I didn't get a... I didn't get a pipe to the glitz pit. Oh wait, I didn't want to go in there. <laughs> and you know what, screw it, just go over this way. Entirely pointless endeavor. Okay, go in the hole. Before we can go to the place, we first have to know that the place exists. Find out what place it is. Ugh. Get, get in the hole. And yeah, now I can just do this. We No more airplane necessary. The Lemonade Star! Show us the way. I wonder if that sound effect there is supposed to sound like Mario RPG. I mean, these remakes were in development about the same time. I assume. 
I think I got a smudge on my glasses. That's just what stars sound like. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Hey, Zero Janitor. Yeah, so we're going over to Spookyville. Where all the best candy is. Hey, that shows where the fourth crystal star is. Guess we'll have to show this to that Frankly guy. Again, I did not tell you about him. But first, we better tell him what Princess Peach's email said, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, again, those guys- the Exonauts wanting to take over the world isn't terribly surprising. It's just- Any- any random character you meet in Mario is bound to want to conquer the world. What?! The group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest! Uh-huh, you got that right. That's why those jerks need that legendary treasure. Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held to what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was, in actuality, the Great Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that, a thousand years ago, sank that town underground. So these jerks think the power of that cataclysm will help them rule the world? I can't say for sure what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again, this town... No, the entire world could be destroyed. Then out with it, Professor. We gotta find the next crystal star, super quick. Hmm. According to the map, it appears that the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself. Only rumors. I have heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Aha! There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Rogueport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Hey, Prep. Prop, the pipe's a no-go. We went in, but we got pushed right back out. What? You can't get in through the pipe, you say? How odd. Hmm, I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Oh, of course! I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. If anyone knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, dang, what was it? Ah, yes, the lover of dark places, Darkly. With, yes, with his hilarious skits based on video games. I've seen him loitering right here in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly. Oh, wait, actually, let me, let me check something real quick. Oh, no, wait, hang on, hang on. Koopy Koo, miss you. Dear Mario and Koops, I hope you two are doing okay. I have to admit, with Koops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely, and I go into Koops' house, and I smell that Koops smell. I guess it's your cologne or whatever, but it makes me so sad. Lately, the place is starting to smell more like your dad, Koopley. He has his own smell, and it's... weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. It's... disgusting. Now I gross myself out. Oh, and since he's gonna be my dad, too, someday, I'd better get used to that smell, huh? Yeah, uh, my dad just, like, never bathes, ever. Uh, I, I wouldn't ever let him touch you, for any reason. Oh, uh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed, but I'm sending this anyway. Hehehe. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Rogueport today. Old t t Toad settles in. It's come to light that after settling into life at our inn, Toadsworth has often been spotted in the company of Zest T. The notoriously finicky Zest T surprised all when she was heard saying, What's wrong with spending a little time with my total toes? The possibilities such a comment opens has op as our eyes and ears glued to the situation. Hello, Integer. Our focus of attention this week, Pungent's Great Tree Shop. Pungent's easygoing management philosophy is money and customers are fickle, so easy come, easy go, you know? He understands why his shop isn't busier, too. We're well hidden, but like any good treasure, we're worth looking for. 
even has a special offer for RDM readers. For the next 15 minutes, I'll give you double shot point. Ooh, that might be worth a detour. Spicy soup. Steep a fire flower in hot water. Ah. You know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll go to... We will go to uh, Bogley Woods just like real quick. So we can take advantage of the promotion. Luckily, we have a pipe straight there. Straight to the tree. But then I still have to remember what floor it's on and everything. Oh, okay. So that, that explains it. The door to, uh... <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I should have done this first. But the, yeah, the door to Glitzville only opens up once you've done the thing. Okay. Okay, now where is this shop? You know, just, just pop in and say hello. But it's a me, a Mario. All I know is that it, it was in a pit somewhere. Let's just hope we can find it in roughly 15 minutes. Might have been this way. No, this was the treasure room. Luckily, I got Yoshi fast mode. This music's very nice. Very aesthetic area. Fills me with vibes of some sort. Maybe it was down here. No, it wasn't. But you get to see them, you know, hanging out all around. Maybe it was here. No, leave me alone, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, it wasn't here. Where is this shop? What? No, I don't wanna- I don't wanna battle the Spodler. Maybe it was in here. Yeah, this is this is it. This is it. Now let's see what do we what do we got here? The HP drain. I'll take one of those. Wait, did I just get like Yeah, I just got like a free item. So I'll buy one of these. You know, we'll just- we'll just buy a little bit of... 
little bit of everything. You know what? We'll get we'll get up to thirty points. But first, I gotta store some stuff. I probably don't need this right now. Store it. Just store my duplicates. I still need to make that fire flower dish, though. Oh, nice. But I'm, I'm scared to... I, I feel like I should cook that, but I'm scared to cook that, so I probably will not. So, what's up with you? Just want to squish the orb. I mean, considering that that's the only verifiably female puny in the whole place, so... Uh... Nah, he's the good one. Where does this lead? Oh yeah, it's... Now I actually gotta figure out the way out of here. What's going on with you? Yeah, there's some racial tension going on here. We just, we won't worry about that right now. <laughs> you know what, fine, I'll kill the spider. You know, the spider wants to be dead so bad, far be it from me. Far be it from me to deny him his wish. Oh yeah, at some point I also gotta learn what the timing is for baby Yostin here. Oh, it's just it just hit A when you hit the ground, okay. It's just hit A when you hit the ground, that's it. At least I can get some free money. Well, I mean it wasn't free, I had to do something for it. Oh god, my nose. I don't know why my nose likes to be nosular, like right when I'm streaming. Like I said, it might be because I talk. I talk a whole lot and that like loosens up my sinuses or something, but either way, not a fan. Not a fan. Might need to get me a Kleenex. Or if I need it. All right, all right. All right, now, now we will actually progress. I promise. I swear, Scout, Scout's honor. Listen, just had to do some errands. Are you finished with those errands?
Okay, and I remember exactly where this dude is, so... It won't take me long. Yeah, and he's right here. Hi there. The name's Dark Lake. I'm from Twilight Town. Do you guys need something? Huh? You can't get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Well, shucks. It's usually no sweat. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No? Really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it here on the seat of your overalls. M-A-R-I-O, right? There, perfect to Mundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. What's your name? Naka, baby. Hey, watch what you're drawing, buddy. I don't know what errand is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Alright, and that's all you gotta do. Just gotta do a small incantation. No big whoop. Oh wait, 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 actually... Okay, okay, I said I'd make progress. I know. But I just remembered one thing I forgot. It's, it's on the way. It's on the way! Okay, fire flower. Yes, soup. I met soup. And might as well do this mushroom while I'm at it. Might as well. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we are ready to go, I swear. I swear it on me, Jacobs. Just gotta jostle my way over here. Got to tape a tape tape could take a slurp, and there we go. Chapter four for pigs the bell tolls. Also, I, I realized I haven't done this yet. Does it, does it play a, a song? Like 64? Hmm, it's not looking good. Okay, we'll just, we'll, we'll move on. Welcome to Spooky Land! Love how this place looks. And this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come from far away? Yeah, those clothes are yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. 
<laughs> Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Uh, gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear. And it's scary to tell, too. Oh no, the bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Whoa, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, badness. Now poor Gloomer got turned into a pig. Not good. Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dower. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for the telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my home. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Whoa, cursed? Yes, cursed. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building, the Creepy Steeple. The dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the Twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I too become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you too get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. Ugh, I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Whoa, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be. Sorry, just checking stuff. Ugh, you people. You aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? Ugh, unthinkable. That's the Twilight Town Mayor. He doesn't seem too reliable, though. I guess he's been through a lot, though, so maybe I ought to cut him some slack. My... My family and friends have all been turned into pigs. That's... not a good thing. This is the village where we were all born, after all. We can't just leave. This is Twilight Town. It's Twilight here, which I guess makes sense, huh? That big moon gives me the heebie-jeebies. I guess the sky here is always the same. No morning, noon, or night. Wouldn't perpetual dusk get a little, like, boring? Well, there's not much you can do. But yeah, like I was saying a minute ago, love the way this place looks. In the remake and in the GameCube version. Just like the, the heavy shadows on everything, including the NPCs, which I think is a really nice touch. Ooh. Star piece. Okay, let's... Save. How's my health doing? Hmm, I could maybe rest up. Yeah, let me let me get a sleep. Let me get a good sleep real quick. Ooh, a peach. Have a nice twilight. Ah, fruit found in Twilight Town. Well, I gotta get rid of something, because I, I need this. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll get rid of the ice storm. 
Because I have it's a duplicate. Because you know I want the peach. Will it feel weird to turn into a pig? Do pigs feel stuff? I'm not looking forward to this. Living in this dark place, it's so depressing, you know. I don't really care if I turn into a pig or not. Okay, so I'm just gonna say right off, don't, don't... <laughs> don't talk about what happens in this chapter for anyone who hasn't seen it. Because I, I think it, it's really cool. This is a really cool chapter in my opinion. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Well, anyway, moving on. Yeah, there's more town over here. You can hit the tree. Smoink, bloink, baboink, croink, oink. I haven't been able to buy food for my children since my husband turned into a pig. Now they're all so hungry. What should I do? Kind traveler. If you have some spare food, could you share it with us? Yeah, sure. Here, have have this. It is deli deli del delicosis. Oh, thank you so much. You made my children very happy, and me as well. It's not much, but please take this as thanks. Ooh. Oh, and kind traveler, where do you hail? I know she didn't turn into a pig to feed her hungry children. That would be too gnarly, but it is some spooky timing, I swear. Hey, fix my mommy. Mommy, you're a piggy. Hey, are pigs good eating? Don't, 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 don't eat the pigs. That's, that's your mother, kid. Don't eat the pigs. In this village, the moon is all we can really rely on. It can even grant wishes. Don't let me turn into a pig. Don't let me turn into a pig. I'll even give up bacon. I've been thinking lately, if I'm gonna turn into a pig, I wanna be a big one. Cause what's the point in being a pig, pipsqueak pig, right? Gotta embrace the pigginess. Oh, a customer. I'm sorry, we're not open right now. Huh? Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig? My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. We got in a fight before he left, and I called him a chauvinist pig. And now he really is a pig. But he has a sweet side too, like cooking my- uh, And when shoppers get rude, my husband escorts them out in such a manly way, you know, he's just got so many wonderful things going for him, you know, I wish he wouldn't dip into the wall for cola money and I could go without him drying his underwear, you know, how often I tell- I think it's tough for him, but I have my faults too, you know, like maybe I shouldn't have been- I should have did- did- should- Yeah. So, um, are you even listening? So hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take whatever you want from the storeroom if it might help, you know. Okay, well, it's, it's kind of locked, I think. What's that? The storeroom's locked? My husband must have taken the key with him and lost it in the woods. <laughs> uh, okay, well... You know, whatever. Whatever. You can go down there, man. Oh, oh. Okay, there's a pipe in here. There's a treasure. There's a fireplace. I don't know why I was about to call that a treasure chest. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's what somebody said. If you still want to go through after hearing all that, you need the mayor's permission. We've heard that one before. Nasty monster, please. Well, whatever, gate guy. Let's go ask Mario. Okay, well, just a minute. I need to do some. 
Yes, I'm a novelist, and I read several books a day. Not all pop-up books, either. I wonder if pigs can read. I'm a bit concerned about it, to be honest. So you can go over here. Uh, you can whack the pumpkins, but, you know, there's not a lot of a reason to do that. Oh, okay, so we need something written on our name, written on our name. To get in that one, I guess. Oh. Oh, the bell rang, Mario. That means someone's gonna... Whew, at least it's not me this time. I mean, does it, does it apply... Does it apply to people who don't live here? I mean, I assume so. Okay, which house does the mayor live in? This one, right? Hey, you don't think this pig is the mayor, do you? What do we do now, huh? We can't get his permission to pass through the gate. Hmm, that's this is not good. Not good, cannot talk to mayor. Even the mayor got turned into a pig. At this rate, they'll all be pigs soon. And then maybe even us. No way. Well, listen, all we gotta do is wait, and then the guy at the gate will turn into a pig, too. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably it right now. Huh? The gatekeeper's gone. No, not gone. He turned into a pig. Well, not to be insensitive, but that works out for us. We can just cruise through. I mean, listen, we'll, we'll figure out how to unpigify everybody. We got this. There is nothing in that block. Oh, wait. It's probably like a, a jumpable, ain't it? Okay, let me leave and come back. See if that brick comes back. No, it does not. I don't know. I don't know. You know, that, that works out. So we got the green Goomba. Oh yeah, we heard this one in the trailer. This is a really good version of the battle theme. That's a hyper Goomba, which means uh, it's a hyperactive Goomba, duh. But if this guy goes bizarre and charges up, his attack power will be eight next turn. So you better wipe it out between the time it charges up and the time it attacks. And if you can't beat him, run away, okay? Well, I'm, I'm gonna do my best. You know what? Uh, let's, uh, do this. Yeah, so... That guy won't be a problem. Oh, wait. Goombella's not gonna be enough to kill this dude. Oh, well, here we go. Okay, that's not that that's not good. Strong Goomba. He has the power of the Almighty God. All oh, the blessing. Yes, give me coin. Holy crap, that was a lot. Or at least it looked like a lot. Okay, well, you know what? We'll, we'll use this. Get our 10 back. 
How do you think Goombas feel about getting killed by another Goomba? I mean, probably bad. Okay, so I gotta toss something else. You know what? We'll, we'll toss regular mushroom. Okay, that guy's got a boo. I should probably just use my star powers. Because I got them, I'm not using them very often. That's a Hyper Paragoomba. It's basically just a Hyper Goomba with wings. After charging up, you'll be dealing with mo Yeah, we know about that. We know about that. Yeah. Okay, so I haven't used that yet, but I'm not- I'm not using it yet. As Professor Oak once said, there's a time and place for everything, but not now. Or maybe that was the dude from Ruby and Sapphire, because to tell you the truth, that and Diamond and Pearl are the ones I played the most of. What do you mean I didn't kill him? Can Goombas turn into pigs? Yeah, see, this guy's asking the real questions. And yeah, they said it would miss. But then what do I do about that? There is not I can do. Okay, now I can do something about it. Spooky. <clears throat> Maybe they should have a curse that turns pigs into Goombas. You ever think about that? Of course you didn't, because that's stupid. <laughs> okay, now I need to hear... I need to hear all about these guys. That's a hyper spiky Goomba. It's a hyper Goomba with a spike on its head. A super hyper spiky Goomba 3000. After charging up, its attack power raises to an incredible level of 9. That's scary. Beat it before it attacks or you'll be in peril before you know it. Aunt, uh, seriously. If only this book listed a way to dodge that attack. Okay, so I'm gonna get Coops out here. You turn into a Goomba if you don't watch the Super Mario Brothers Super Show while you're a pig. Ah, you see? You see? Ow. See, if you're already a Goomba- if you're already a pig, if you were- if you were a Goomba to begin with, right? And you want to turn back into a Goomba, you can just not watch the Super Show. And then that'll turn you back to normal. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of a difficulty spike here. Uh-oh, I, I might have made a horrible mistake. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. You know what? I'll take it. Oh, I am sorry, Koopas. Uh, the Koop Man is not in a good position here. So, I mean, I guess I need to swap him out. A little, little difficulty, little difficulty spike here. Oh, thank you for that. Oh, no thank you for that.
Actually, maybe maybe we want Yoshi. We want Naka out in here. Ah, oh, crap, man. I I don't know what I'm doing. Mini egg to shrink them to tiny size. And it's not the one that was charged up, so I'm in trouble. Yes! But I got that. I got that going for me. Yes! Eat! Poop! It was bold, but I went for it. And it worked out in the end. There's gotta be like a star panel in here somewhere. Just gonna give it a quick check. You know, this music actually is kind of unnerving for a Mario game. Like, I wouldn't say full-on horror music, but... Okay, so there's a key over there. That I cannot get. Oh, but you know who probably can? Okay. Yeah, alright. So now we just gotta run back to the shop. And he probably has something good. It's more unnerving than your normal ghost house type beat. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 one level above ghost house. We'll say that much. Okay, now what is in here? Oh, there's some cool items in here. Actually, I might want to store a couple things. Oh, no, I didn't mean to ground pound you, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, can I not store anything? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean it. Okay, so I guess I can't store anything. So let, let me just avoid grabbing it. Hold up. Hey, who's there? I just heard a voice. There's no way that people could be here. Seriously, that's just so unlikely. Huh? What's that you say? You seen a chest like this before? Get out of here! No, no, no. I'm not like those chests, I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. I'm not. Seriously. Just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me big. What? Come on. You know how ridiculous you sound right now? I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm gonna curse you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as a... Well, a really wonderful new ability that will allow you to go to special places. Doesn't that sound nice? Ah, oh, come on, please. Just find this key and open the chest, okay? I know it's near this town somewhere. I just can't go look for it myself. Because I'm in here. So, pretty, pretty, please. All right. I mean, he's he's convinced me. I think this guy's legit. I have a feeling I know exactly where this key is. Oh, no, wait, not there. <laughs> that is too far. It's probably down here, right? No? No. Okay, well... We gotta figure out what is key is. It's not in that chest, is it? Oh, but no, that is. And that's pretty cool. 
Do I have any open badge points? Oh, you need five for that. Might need to level up my badge further. Okay, so it's not there. Let's see, where, where could this be? I mean, it could be in that shack. It could be like in here, maybe. Okay, first I'm gonna check the shack. I I honestly, like honest to God, I'm not pretending, I'm not playing dumb. I don't remember where this key is. Okay, yeah, you can, you can just push the rock. Okay, yep, there it is. You know, adds up, makes sense. Checks out. Checks out like a book at the library. Can I store... Okay, yeah, she's got items out, so I'm guessing I can store things now. Okay, so what do we got that I don't need? Um... Well, I'll store the mystery for now. Uh... And uh, I'll put this in there. Okay, I'll put the peach in there. So that'll be good. So I can get these items back here. A jam and jelly. Honestly, the jam and jelly, um, I think I'm gonna store that. That might be a little too good for right now. I don't think I require a jelly of that magnitude. Now this one, I could, I could potentially make use of. I didn't, I didn't mean to hit the pig, I promise. Was not trying to make Canadian bacon. Oh, thank goodness, you're gonna let me out? Oh, happy day. <laughs> Fools. What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Now I'm gonna hit you with the king of curses, the cursiest curse ever. Fear my terrible power. You will know the pain of having your body roll up real small. Be cursed! <laughs> now you're cursed, loser. Savor your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk. You'll be forced to roll around as a tacky tube. <laughs> your suffering amuses me, and so I laugh. Now show me your cursed plight so that I can laugh all the more. Just press and hold ZR, and then rotate the left stick repeatedly. <laughs> your pathetic misery thrills me to the core. When you're in that form, you must roll everywhere like some embarrassingly extruded wheel. I want to get a good long look at you in this piddle form. Now roll! Roll around like a drop butterscotch on a sidewalk. <laughs> well, do you see how pitiful and tubular you are? When the suffering becomes too much, press B to revert to your normal self. Don't forget. So tell me, do you now understand your eternal cylindrical agony? I leave you to suffer, fools! <laughs> Now, who could have seen that coming? Like, honestly, that comes that comes as a surprise to me. I cannot believe... I cannot even believe such a thing could happen. Oh, wait, we got mail. At noon today, the Excess Express ran late for the first time in 10 years as a suspicious incident activated station security measures. Area youth and huge train enthusiast Lackey was found taking pictures in the employee-only area near the Express and was gang-tackled by local Samaritans. 
I understand how much people are into trains, but we've got safety and security measures to uphold. Blustered the train engineer. The youth was released with just a warning, this time. This week we highlight Glitzville's souvenir shop. Though they've never attracted as many customers as the nearby hot dog stand, the proprietor is certain that any day now, people will in fact notice that his shop exists. Early on in our interview, the owner of the nearby hot dog stand cornered our reporter and had this to say. The souvenir shop is irrelevant to the true hot dog connoisseur with 10 coins to spend. A minor scuffle broke out shortly thereafter, but we're happy to report that no one was seriously injured. Apparently everyone in Glitzville knows how to roll with a punch. The next cur Every time I get cursed, the Cartoon Network gets charged 42 bucks! Hey there, rookies. Flex your bendy straws because today's recipe is for fresh juice. Just blend honey syrup until you reach a nice frothy texture and enjoy. Try one in the morning to start your day off right. Look. Syrup? Syrup drink? We're just getting started, people. Wait until you see the next glorious issue. I mean, I say that as if that's not literally just what soda is. <laughs> soda pop. Okay, now we may advance. No, leave me alone. No, leave me alone. No, leave me alone. And now we can go through here. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh. <laughs> you thought. And there's a big old cone. There's a big old cone here. Big old tree, cone, hay, something. Uh, blow it away. Get, get rid of it. What do you got to say about this? Seriously, spooky woods. Go there to collect herbs. That's totally reckless. I'd never go someplace like that on my own. Not for a million coins. Is there any panels over here? Oh, but there, no, there's one behind the pipe. There's one behind the pipe. And it's got a star piece in the back. We're in the woods now. It's really dark here, so watch where you step. Watch out for the doo-doo. Oh, it's a daisy! It's the daisy, not to be confused with the daisy that's the princess. That's a different one. That's a crazy daisy. It may look totally cute, but it's a serious foe. What you gotta worry about is his lullaby. That tune will totally zonk you out. If you manage to guard well though, you might not pass out. Try to learn the timing. Oh, and when his HP runs low, it runs away, so try to kill it in one fell swoop. She said KO, I said kill. I made it a little bit edgier. Nope. Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna... Uh, I don't know what to do about this guy right here. Uh, let's just use a... Let's use a fire flower. You did the opposite of what TikTokers do. Now watch as I unalive this man. Oh, that's right. You are dying. You are sickly and dying. Yeah, I'm getting- I'm getting real good at that. Not to toot my own horn. Well, actually, absolutely to toot my own horn. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> he breakdances pretty well for a sick, dying man. No, that- that happened to me once, like... When my grandfather was dying, he- he, he did that on his deathbed. 
You cannot prove me wrong. Coins. Coins, give me coins. But you know, you gotta you gotta swoosh through here. Earthquake. Mm. Yes. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, I hope you're ready for an unforgettable battle. Oh, that's a gold boy. That's a that's a gold boy right there. Got to tattle the gold boy. Hello, Zero Kirby. That's an amazing daisy. This mystical daisy is like the rarest thing ever. It has such a high HP and runs away really quickly. It's almost impossible to beat. Plus, its lullaby has massive attack power. So if we're low on HP, we need to scram. You got to think hard about whether to fight or bolt. I will fight. Here's my plan. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I was gonna freeze it, but it didn't work out. I probably would have gotten like Eight million coins if I had killed that thing, but honestly the tattle is the thing I'm most concerned about. You got anything new to say about here? I feel like something's just gonna pop out of that thicket and attack us. Like what? Well it could be Stop it, I don't wanna think about what it might be. S scary. The Slender Man! Is that a super cleft? Super cleft! Boy wonder! The Slender Man is what happens when Mario turns sideways. Yeah, I guess technically, being the Slender Man is not all that impressive in Paper Mario World. Paper Mario World is a different game. True. Uh-oh. No, wait, I'm fine. Actually, I'm fine. Yes! I did not deserve that! But what can I say? God just loves me. Nine! Sixty-four! Oh, and then I get this too. Like I said, God loves me. I mean, he loves all of us, but me especially. Ah, hammer throw. Getting a lot of cool and bodacious badges tonight. Okay, there's a tree. So... Uh, do I blow the tree away? Yes, I do. Get out of here. That was a fake tree. Here's the real tree. Okay, what you gotta say about here? Yep, still in the woods. <laughs> like, like, dust, like, Dustin, why are you making me tattle this again? getting awfully dark around here. If there were like a big hole in the ground, you'd probably fall in without seeing it. Flurry would float right over it, so I'm sure she's not worried. Okay, that's... Is that a hint? Is that a hint, Goombella? Very subtle hint. Okay, can I... Can I blow this? No. Big hole. 
And then you push the rock here and the rock moves over there. Don't ask me how that works. It's some link to the past dark world bullshit. I don't know. Nope. Okay, but I, I don't actually want flurry in this fight. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quake hammer. I mean I prefer Doom Hammer, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. That that just happened. I didn't take part in that at all. Super Hammer! Oh man, they're taking away my 64. But good news, you can now buy the Nintendo 73. 73 bits is a weird amount, but you know, that's what we fell on. Oh, here we are. Spooky castle. No, no, uh, it's called Spooky Castle. Yeah, this is Creepy Steeple. That nasty monster's place. Place wigs me out. Look, Gonzalez, let's just get that crystal star and get out of here fast. Yeah, trust me, I don't... I don't want to spend any more time here than I have to. I say, tattling. Being in the moonlight gives me the willies. Looks like a ghost could just pop out at any minute. No way I'm going in there. Uh, although I guess you're with me, Mario. I'll, I'll give it my best. The partner writing is so good in this game. I mean, it wasn't bad in 64, but it's really good here. Okay, so the gate is locked. There's a well here. Go down the well. What's that? Mario fell down the well? Well, uh, I'm not particularly worried about that. He'll be fine. He can just wall jump out or something. Whatever. Oh, okay. That didn't work. Have I not encountered a Buzzy Beetle? I swear I thought I did. That's a Buzzy Beetle. Oh, it's kind of cute. I, I agree with her to be to be real with you. you. Got pretty good defense, and fire and explosions don't hurt it whatsoever. But if you jump on it, you can flip it over and drop its defense down to zero. Then it's at our mercy. Ha! Don't hesitate. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. I, I s lean away from the microphone to sniff in, and it does not help. It does not help at all. Still picks up cl clean, as, clean as day. Okay, but there's a shine sprite down here, which is good. I like having those. But yeah, so far the So far this area is really pretty in the remake. Tornado jump. This area is really pretty in the remake, and it was all it was already good looking in the original. Why do I keep doing that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like nothing you can do against these guys besides use like a star move. But I just I just want to tattle them and I'm getting out of here. That's a spike top. It's a buzzy beetle with a spike on its back. Like other buzzies, fire and explosions have absolutely no effect on it. But you can flip it over to drop its defense to zero. I'm sure you know this already, but try not to jump on it. That spike hurts. Yeah, I don't I don't know how to do that besides like using my star power. So I'm just I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. SpongeBob, I have an idea. Let's leave.
Do you have Quake Hammer? Uh, yeah. I, I figured maybe that would work, but I, I don't know. I didn't care enough. I didn't care enough to actually deal with those guys. So we gotta check over here. Spooky. Well, okay, I don't I don't see anything, so let's go in. Uh yeah, the stained glass window. Stained glass. That glass is adequately stained. We're inside Creepy Steeple. At least the moon provides a little light, you know? This place seems super old, huh? I'd like to research it, as soon as it's not haunted. There's a little hole here. What is in here? Oh, it's a Shine Sprite. I will take it. Finders Keepers. Ah, Star, star Piece. Finders Keepers. Ah, nothing. Finders keepers. Okay, a cookbook. Oh, that, you know, when we get back to Roadport, that'll probably be useful. Oh, Ice Smash. So many good badge. So many good bags that I could put on. But not enough bag point. My friends have all been taken away. So lonely. Don't leave me alone. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm on a quest. Kind of on a quest here. I love the over-the-top spooky version of the battle theme here. Yeah, I we heard this in some of the early footage, and I, I really like it. It's really it's a really good version. Okay. Well, there's a stature right there. Probably push that. And then we go down. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I said it, this this area already looked good on the in the GameCube version, but it looks fantastic here. Okay, found another little secret room. Got a flower saver badge. How much does that cost to put on, I wonder? Four! That's too much! That is entirely too much! Okay, there's a mysterious box here. Let's open it. Oh no, Sandopolis Act 2! You got a little straggler. Okay, it's quiz time, interloper. Just now, when the box opened, how many of us boos came out? Uh, 200. Good, very good. Take this, math nerd. See ya, sucker. <laughs> just, <laughs> just Sandopolis Act Three, baby. Yeah, I mean, there's a monster in here. Maybe the monster lit it. I mean, it could be a dragon, but we've kind of already done that. We kind of already did that. I would play a Sandopolis Act 3. I mean, you would just play any additional Sonic 3, let's be real. Are you going to be mean to me? No. Why would I? Promise? Come on out, guys. Yeah, there's a lot of spookters. Yeah, Sonic 3 is a good game. I appreciate that. I appreciate that game very muchly. Okay, I, I mean, I don't want to... No, it's to get off of me. Bad touch. Bad touch. Th this area looks really good. Pretty decent breeze out here, huh? 
there's a swooper. You remember them from Super Martinio World. Okay, so we got a lot of tattling to do. That's a swooper. I bet they call it that because of the way it swoops around. Wow, that's some awesome naming work. Seriously, it's pure naming genius. So anyway. It says here it hangs from the ceiling. If you can just damage it, it ought to drop off the ceiling. Then you can whack it. Okay, well this one's almost dead. More recent games just called them swoops. I did not notice that name change, I will be real with you. Ow! But yeah, now we gotta tattle the boo. Because there's a secret there. That's a boo. It's everyone's favorite ghost. Well, most everyone. It's nothing to write home about on the attack side, but it can turn itself or allies invisible. If it turns invisible, we won't be able to hit it, so beat it while you can see it. Boos are kind of cute, but I sure wouldn't want to meet one in a dark alley. If I ran into one in the bathroom in the middle of the night, I'd... Well, never you mind what I'd do. D did Goombella just imply that she would piss herself? Ah, cool! <laughs> it sounds closer to swoos. Yeah, get... Goomba's piss confirmed. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. I love being small. I love being small. Anything cool I can use? Man, it's, it would kind of be a waste. Oh no, the the fog. Oh yes, the shine sprite. Yeah, so my trick with that one is just press A when you see the item before the one you're trying to get. So like if it's a shine sprite, uh, I press A when I see the star. And it, it works out pretty well. Okay, now I'm big again. I'm a big man. A big guy. Are you? Top level strut. I mean, yeah. I know, I know it's kind of obvious. I missed. Oh, we're close to a level. We're real close now. We're also real close to another slot. Oh, no, I see- I see the dead right there. I see it. Okay, finally. <laughs> one I don't have to do tattles on. Uh, let's get Naka in here. Because he can do the thing. Oh, more fog. Okay, freeze the ghost. That's good. Oh, you can't hit him with that? Another enemy on the ground. Man, you know what? Let's, let's mini egg. Yeah, that works. And attack power has also dropped. But he's gonna use that on me. Ow! That was not good. I do not like that he did that. I should probably use another special move because my, my bar is full. But either way, I can go back here. There might, there might be cool things back here. Uh, 
Uh, if there is, I ain't seeing them. Oh, it's that. The golden leaf! Well, I, I want to, I want the golden leaf. What can I get rid of? Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll drink the tea. Also, I swear I hear the final boss theme of the game in here, in this song. Da -na 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 -na. Okay, push the button. Okay, what did that do? I, I guess it moved these stairs. I'm going to assume that it moved these stairs. So let's go through the stairs. Let's, let's, let's book it. Don't get grabbed by the ghoulies. Oh wait, there's a key. Need a key. Also, I've said a million times. Now, now this basically goes for any enemy in any of these games ever, but especially for the booze. I really prefer the Yoshi's Island inspired design in this game in 64, and I don't remember if any booze actually show up in Super. But yeah. They they change it, it. They change it, it in the new game and I don't like it as much. Dragmire is playing Spelunky. Okay, you know what? I said I would do this. Well, you know what? Let's let's, let's try this one out. Let's try this one out. Oh, it's whack-a-mole. Oh, crap. I swear this is not how this controlled in the original game. I might be wrong, but I feel like... I, I definitely feel like that was not the case. You can use the D-pad for that in this version. I was not aware of that. I mean, maybe I was. I don't remember what I did. Okay, mini egg. You know, just... I mean, maybe I could use flurry for this, but whatever. You, you didn't attack the top one! What the deuce? Oh, we are tantalizingly close. Mm, pardon me. Courtyard. That garden could use some love. I I'm playing through it with a uh, ghouly kit. With the, the King Kong or the freaking... Uh, whatever. The Zen or whatever they call it. Okay, uh, can Flurry get these guys down? Yes, she can. Or at least she can try. She is allowed to try. No, she can do it. She can literally just do it. Flurry. She can literally just do it. <laughs> oh, no. Messed up that super guard. Also, I said during the beginning of the stream, but uh, audio sounds like normal to you guys, right? Like it sounds as it should, as it should. Because like I was saying, I put a compressor on it because this game gets freaking loud during the battles for some reason. Yes, badge, bag, bag power. 
because badges are the most fun. Okay. Now we must take advantage of our newfound bag abilities. So... I mean, that one's free. That one's literally just free. You know, we haven't been using charge much. We can't get rid of that one. Yeah, we'll, we'll take those off. Oh wait, you can sort them. You can sort them. Yeah, you need five for- oh, well, you, I got five, so... You know what? Let's- let's put that on. Okay, well... There has to be something out here. I mean, I'm assuming this will move the staircase. Okay, so I want to move it down twice. This is one down per press. One down per pound. There's a middle door, which I think just drops you. Yeah, it looks like it drops you. Oh, no! Oh! Why did I do that? No, wait, this isn't the- this isn't the way. This is not the way. Okay, try that- try that again. This time with feeling. Feeling in my legs. Yoshi did not make it. Okay, now we just gotta use the key on the top door. But first, we gotta move the staircase so I can actually get there. Okay, press it twice for good measure. The switch will turn gray. The phone will ring, but there will be nobody there. Steeple key. All right. Approaching the boss. This chapter always did feel like a little short to me, to be honest with you. But I mean, chapter three was kind of a marathon, so... I don't know. I mean, maybe they just sort of ran out of time because like... You know, a lot of GameCube games were rushed, like Mario Sunshine, Wind, w Wind Waker had two entire dungeons cut out of it. Like, you know the Triforce quest? Yeah, like... Like, the reason why you have to do that Triforce quest is because there were two entire dungeons that were supposed to be in the game they cut out. Hey, hang on there, Slick. What are you doing? Interrupting my me time. Whoa, come on! This guy is the monster the mayor was freaking out about? Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking up new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost. Of course you guys won't. No way you ninnies will go away quietly, am I right? 
Well, all right then, Slick. Fine, yes. I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. <laughs> Big deal? You stink, mister. Why you want to turn them into pigs anyway? Well, uh... You know, they're all so depressing and boring and dim-witted all the time. So instead of wallowing in gloom, I figured they might as well wallow in mud. Ha! Now they're pigs, get it? Isn't that just so perfect? It's like irony of s or something. So, what? You got a problem with that? I guess you do. So let's play, Slick. Oh, I love this theme. All right, well, let's let's get going. Huh? Wow, how totally bizarre. This thing isn't listed in here. There's a monster in here that looks like this thing, but it doesn't list a name. Max HP is 40, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It's apparently really good at transforming itself and other things. Maybe it used that power to turn the villagers into pigs. This thing is a real jerk. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I guess I'll get down and dirty if you're gonna play like that, Slick. So yeah, if you guys remember the Dupla Ghosts from uh, Paper Mario 64, yeah, just guys one of those. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that is also really good. And that is even better. All right. Ow. Yeah, I keep I keep messing up the timing on that. Oh, oh ow. Well, at least it hit him too. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. Do not want it. Hmm, time to regroup here. So you think you're a couple of heavies, huh? Well then, my dear friends, if you thought changing folks into pigs was impressive, then you're gonna love this. I've got something very special for you here. Now that's magic, people! Should should I should I voice this as Mario or should I voice this as uh his voice? Now you're fighting yourself! Ha! I'm a dang genius! Does she have a special tattle for when he's in this form? As Mario, definitely. Okay, got it. Okay, no. I thought she'd have a special thing to say about purple Mario. The fact that they just sampled Mario going, ha. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I pressed it a little too early. Yuck, 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 yuck. Hold on. What? What? Huh? You beat me?
You got a crystal star! Cleared! Mario defeated the Scourge of Creepy Steeple and found the fourth crystal star. The people of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest to collect all seven crystal stars will be done in no time. With his back to Creepy Steeple, Mario sets out towards his bright future. Wow, are you kidding me? What a total pushover. Well, we got the crystal star, so let's get out of here. Yep, there's the twist. When when I was a kid, this part blew my mind. Like actually insane way for this chapter to go. But no, chapter four is not quite done yet. Yeah, I, d I wanted you to see that. And you notice Mario's voice clips are gone too. So we gotta find that guy. Yes! This time we'll take that Mario and get his map! With this super bob arm here, there's no way we can fail. No, not likely. Go. Vivian, hand me that glorious super bob arm. Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that huh mean what I think it does? I- I never had it! You were holding it just two seconds ago! You said it was too important to trust me with. Oh, you terrible liar! Stop making up stories to cover for yourself! If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it, and obviously you lost it! Or, are you trying to imply that I lost it, you little lollygagging worm? I- I know, of course not, Beldum. Well, we can't do much without it, now can we? Oh, you are such an idiot! Very well. I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while Marilyn and I go out for a well-earned siesta? And if you don't find it, well, you know what will happen, don't you? I... I get punished. That's right, you little twit, so get cracking. Come, Marilyn, let's leave this useless little fool to her chore. Go oh ho. Yeah, so those guys are still around. Is there a star piece back here? I can still do this, right? Yeah. Get me on out of there. Is it just me or did the music get scarier? Ow! Push the button. I did it. Why? Okay, why did that man get water on him? If I recall correctly, Mario's voice wasn't removed in the original game. Huh. 
I thought it was. But if, if you're right, then that's a really cool detail. I appreciate that. Oh. I found a hidden block. Goody for me. Nah, they just attack anyone that moves. They don't- they don't care if it's Mario or not. Okay, Quake Hammer. I'm still trying to figure out the, the right timing for that. Alright, sure. Run. Run like the coward you are. Give me money. Three, two, one. That's a lucky number. Probably not. I just made that up. Oh. Oh, okay. That's a lot of dudes. You know what? Let's just... No, it's not going to do enough, is it? You know what? Let's, let's, let's do this. Yeah, see, now I got it. Now I got it covered. Purple Mario still has voice clips in the GameCube version. Well then, props to Remake Team. Because that is a cool detail. You know, maybe I should get rid of the Goomba first instead of the Daisy. Okay, kill. You know what, sure. Hmm, I don't know that I have an attack that can do eight damage to this man. Um... Hmm, you know what, I'm gonna- actually, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm just gonna not do that. You know? You feeling me? No, get out of here. I'm not in a good spot for that right now. Hey, what's up, Sleek? Been waiting for you. Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name. And I really dig this body, too. Man, I can jump now. And hey, you're so popular around here. I got mobbed. I just love being you. So, yeah, it's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. So you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can use your name. Top break, Slick. That's not enough either. I aim to erase you for good. 
I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This'll be fun, right? Now guess, what's my name? Hit me with your best shot. Alright, so, uh, did any of you manage to catch this dude's name? Is what I would say if I hadn't already played this game before. And I know his name is Dupless. So D O O. Uh, Drake. Where's the lowercase p? Rockabundo, little nobody! Who named their kid that? Prepare for doom, slick! Yuck, 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 yuck! I don't even think about running from battle here! No running! You're not thinking about running away, are you? You'd better not be! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to run away. <laughs> and the bar is, like, pre-filled. Oh, that's no fun. <laughs> now that Mario took care of that curse monster, I don't have to guard the gate. But here I am doing it anyway. Yep, just to keep the weirdos out, you know? Yeah, you look kind of weird. If I had to classify you, you'd be a bad guy. Yeah, he's still wearing the Wario outfit, which I don't think was a thing in the original game. The curse has been lifted since Mario beat that bad, bad ghost. Ah, the perfect yellow cap. Those pr scuffed purple overalls. He's the absolute best. And yeah, that definitely wasn't a thing. Originally, they did not comment on the Wario getup. Why don't you do something about your appearance and spiff up like Mario, huh? I've been thinking lately. I don't really want to be a pig, but being a crow could be okay. Because then I could fly. No one's ever heard of a flying pig. Can I go in here now? No, I cannot. He didn't want me. Uh-oh, he's here. Oh, I do not understand this madness. Pas du tout. Not at all, I just do not get it. I remember coming here through that pipe. But it gets fuzzy after that, and now I do not know why I am here. Not that it is a problem. This young woman is quite fetching, eh? I collect the goods, and she sells them. Simple. A good shop, like a good marriage, is dependent on teamwork, my friend. So show your support and buy something. Oh, uh, this is awkward. That pig wasn't my husband after all. This guy is younger and kind of handsome. What a strapping fellow. Perhaps this time I traded in for a new husband. Oh, I'm only fooling. Uh, no, nothing for me, thank you. So, uh, yeah, wait, where is her husband then? The curse was oink lifted. That Mario sure was oink something, wasn't he? Uh, I can't stop oinking. What should I oink do? The moon granted my wish. I never turned into a pig. Someone living on the moon must have heard my wish. What, who do you think lives there? Little green men. <laughs> Too funny. You must be a dreamer. What an imagination. If you're looking for the battle master, you found him, pal. Don't think I've seen your lack of mug before, though. You got a name, tall, dark, and faceless? What? You got your name stolen? Huh. That's a new one on me. Anyway, I'm gonna call you Nameless Frank for now. You need fighting lessons, Nameless Frank? I know my fights, let me tell you. Wanna talk violence? Even, even he has special dialogue for this, which I appreciate, again. Yes, I'm a novelist. It's not all that easy on the eyes, but I read by moonlight. What, so what kind of books do you like? Um... Suspense. Shouldn't you spend your time reading something a little more worthwhile? So what does he say if you say something else?
So, so he just, he just dunks on me no matter what my preference is. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it doesn't matter what you tell him. He, he just dunks on you no matter what. Hey, we are the Traveling Sisters 3. Hey, I think we were pigs until a moment ago. No way, we're not pigs. But if we were, we'd be such cute ones, huh? Thanks to Mario, our village is back to normal at last. If you see Mario, you should thank him too. No, I don't think I'm gonna do that. What do I do? What do I do? Poor me. I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's gonna punish me again. It should be around here somewhere, but I just can't find it. There you go. <laughs> yep, yep. What? You found it? Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I won't get punished now. Oh no! It's- it's broken! It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, why does everything have to go wrong all the time? Oh, don't even bother trying. It's really busted. What do I do now, huh? My sisters will be back any minute now. But I do appreciate your offer. Thank you. Hey, wait just a second. What's your name, anyway? Won't you tell me? What? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? Identity theft happens to millions each year. That's, well, I'm not sure what to call that kind of problem. Which fits, I guess. Dun 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 What is that? Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do. And you were worried about me that whole time. That's so... kind. Alright, that's it! I'm going to help you get back your name, and your body, and your friends. Hey, that's okay, don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. They- we weren't- we aren't very happy together. Truth is, it took me a while to realize I was their sister, not their brother. Now their usual bullying feels heavier. So, uh, yeah, something I haven't talked about is originally this character in the Japanese version was transgender. And they censored that out of the original American text, the script. Uh, but they brought it back for this one, so there you go. I also feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. That's the right thing to do, right? Right. Man, Mario is just pulling. Just the ladies are throwing themselves at him. So, <laughs> here we go. Vivian has joined your party. Yeah, so basically, uh, she has the field ability of Lady Bo. I mean, you know, same same general effect. You can use this ability to hide from enemies. Press X to emerge. Yes. Yeah, Vivian was only canonically transgender in the Japanese and Italian versions. Why Italy? I have no idea. But... Yeah, so she's basically Lady Bo. 
I guess we need to find well, what that ghost's real name is first, huh? That'll be a start. So how are we gonna get that kind of information? Oh, I have an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around, but they're actually really well informed from all that flying and eavesdropping. With my power, we can listen in the shadows so you can listen in on their conversations without them knowing. So in addition to villagers, let's try to get some info, info from the local birds. That's the least I could do for you with my powers. Uh, what? A guy with a yellow cap and some purple overalls? That sounds familiar. Come on, brain. Oh yeah, that's Mario. He's this adventurer who saved our village. Are you an adventurer too? I like adventures. <laughs> Yo, birds! My birds! You ought to move in here. Shadow like you, you'd fit right in, know what I mean? So I was chatting with Rotbeak and Toad Town on Instant Messenger yesterday. <laughs> and he said they'd just gone fiber optic on his home network. You believe that? Was that in the original game? Cause that, that feels... I don't know. That feels modern. Yellow hat, purple overalls, that's gotta be Mario. I mean, in fairness, these people just learned who Mario was like an hour ago. Rad! I bet he's downloading 100 meg apps with no problems on those fat pipes! Oh, uh, yep, there's the dated part. <laughs> 100 meg. How quaint. I mean, back when this game first came out, I had dial-up, so... <laughs> so this would have been legitimately very impressive. He's probably surfing the Feather Club for crows at the speed of light now. Yeah, it just blows me away. All this information age hype you hear about. And yet, it's all games and feather loss sites that are driving the technology. Is that... Is that a porn joke? Am I reading too far into this? Are, are they talking about porn? Feather loss? Yeah, but I think test tech bus survivors can thrive if they get viable business models. Alright, funny, but that does not help me. What do you gotta say? Oink, 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 oink. I'm practicing for pig time. If I go to the swine side, I'm gonna be more positive. There's no more pickers? You're kidding. Could you give me some time alone? Oh, I need a minute to think about this. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please take this as a token of our thanks. Eat up. Boy, Mario sure got chatty all of a sudden. I mean, he, like, never talks. Oh, well, I guess it's not too totally weird or anything. Uh, Mario seems kind of different. I mean, he's sort of like the life of the party now, so I guess that's cool. Eh? You want to know if Gonzalez has been acting different lately? I mean, I guess he's more annoying now, what with all the weird shouts and yuck, yuck, yuck laugh and stuff. Oh my my, Mario is rather dramatic of late, isn't he? To be honest, I rather enjoyed his quiet dignity and strength of character. Hey, ha, ah, oh, he, ah, look at me, look at me, it's a me, Mario. Yuck, 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 yuck. You should remove the W emblem and see if anything happens. That is a good idea, yeah. Uh, no. At least not right now. Maybe if I remove... Maybe if I reload the room. Yeah, nothing happens. Like, even if you reload? Cause that's- that's pretty cool, like it actually... Yep, he- he stays Wario. So yeah, it actually keeps track of what you're... If you had that on at the time. Yeah, how- how am I doing? I- I probably need a rest. Is my- is my inventory full? Yeah, it is. I can't take that. I can't accept this, I'm sorry. 
Does it keep track of the L badge too? I don't know. I've been really depressed lately, thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. We're crows. I'm splendid. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric? I think solar energy probably has the greatest potential. Well, we're still working on that. <laughs> we are still working on that. Alas, this twilight world is too full of pain and contradiction. Too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so that I could flee the terror of mundanity. Oh yeah, it's especially not gonna work here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I also like the implication that birds talk, but only when people aren't looking. Hey Maud, listen to this! Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his SATs this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feathers, Flo! I mean, and whenever Vivian's like following by you, she goes. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb. It makes me want to peck their noses. Uh, are are these guys? Can you qualify these guys as humans? They're green. <laughs> the only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under creepy steeple. I hear. And it's obvious that saying his real name is his one weakness. So I wonder how all this is going to end up then. So like a Rumpelstiltskin thing going on with this guy. Did you hear that? If we search under Creepy Steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. Let's go to Creepy Steeple. Okay. What what time is it? What time is it? It's 11. Yeah, I'll keep playing for a little bit. I, I don't exactly know how much chapter is left. I would have done this back in town, but that wouldn't have looked very good, would it? So, this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm, he looks sort of familiar to me. Alright, can the chatter. Just a deal. You get your chance, then I stomp you. If you guess my real name, then you get your body and name back. Nah. Okay. He must have been hiding there in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. Yeah, so... This chapter is really freaking cool. But it's also one of the ones that's most infamous for backtracking. I mean, personally, I don't mind it that much. But also, I don't get frustrated by games that easy. So it's like... I mean, yeah, it's kind of padding, but it's like, whatever, I don't care. I don't care, like, you want me to walk to the creepy steeple, like, three separate times? Sure, whatever. Whatever, man, it's not like I'm doing anything better. but we get to see Vivian in battle now. So, Shade Fist. Give him the punch. And it sets him ablaze. Man, good looking fire in this game. Oh, okay, I get extra points. I mean, that, that only means four, but I mean, I'll take it. You know, free is free. Yeah, they probably should have put some new enemies. Yeah, you can do that. If they had changed up, like, the enemies each time, I don't think it would have been a problem at all. Okay, so that's a lot of- that's a lot of duders. That is a lot of duders right there. 
Hmm. Wasn't there something that did seven? No? Well, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna use it. It results in a shocking difficulty spike. Honestly, I don't mind that so much. Because this game is pretty easy. So, you know what? Give, give me a little bit. Give me something to chew, chew on. I mean, I don't need Mario RPGs to be, like, the hardest thing ever. I mean, if you'd like to make them the hardest thing ever, I won't complain, but... Well, maybe the- maybe if they're the hardest thing ever, but... Oh! It's the gold! It's the gold! But yeah, you gotta use freaking 20. Master quest. Yeah, that is true. That does exist. They do exist. Master Quest this one. Is there not a mod? I I think there's a Thousand Year Door Master Quest mod. But yeah, the golden the golden slime. But I I don't have the means. I don't have the means. Is there now? I mean, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. But I, I felt like there was some sort of, like, super hard mode hack of this game. But yeah, good old, good old ROM hacks. They're the best thing ever, even though Nintendo does not want you to think that they are the best thing ever. Set of gecko codes. I mean, yeah, that works. Oh, <laughs> randomizes enemy stat. I mean, that's still pretty interesting. Ah, uh, randomizers. Love those, too. I have not streamed a randomizer on this channel thus far. Mostly because I've been focusing on stuff I haven't played already. But I really, I love randomizers quite a bit, and I, I would like to stream one at some point. Yeah, like maybe maybe Zelda 2. Because I, I played Zelda 2 like really early on in this channel's history. And it, it would be a good excuse to revisit it one of these days with a randomizer. Link to the past, you know, Super Metroid. Obviously any of the Metroid games. Like I said though, once I get done with either this or Princess Peach, I probably gotta start streaming Metroid Prime Hunters, because Prime 4 finally has a release date, or at least a release year. And I want to stream that in Prime 3 before that comes out. Yeah, beyond! I- I feel- I feel bad that I wasn't, like, super over-the-top reacting to that when the trailer came out, but, like I said, Now what do I- what do I do about- it? Can I like, go this way? Have you seen the Link to the Past Super Metroid combined randomizer? I have, yes. And it's pretty cool. Oh wait, 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 yeah, you push this. Yeah. And then you do this, and then it goes and then you do that, yeah. Which is kind of a- a weird- a weird <laughs> apparatus. Why does the creepy steeple have this device? Oh yeah, shine sprite, baby!
But yeah, I'd like to do uh, Super Metroid randomized one of these days, because I love it. What's this way? Nothing. What's this way? Something. Ooh, big block. Eh, eh, give me in there. Mr. Softener. P Power plus badge. How much is that? Probably a lot. Six, yeah. I'm probably gonna go all, all, mostly all in on badges. The P! So, uh, du Dupless wrote back to us. He said, the P. That's interesting. Dread also has one which came out. Yeah, I think Switch games have been pretty good about that. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure Breath of the Wild had one pretty quick. Good morning! Good morning! Pretty bird! Pretty bird! Good morning! What happened to those weirdos who were just here? Yeah, whatever. It was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one know his real name. Looking me up in here just because I know it. Making me guard the name's stupid missing letter. No way to treat a parrot. I really want a cracker. Dupless, you're a big meanie. When's feeding time, huh? Scrub! Ah, pretty bird! Pretty bird! Okay, so I love that their justification for why you can't enter, like, like even if you already know his name, you can't enter it because they literally took the letter away. <laughs> That's- that's so funny to me. <laughs> we heard that. We heard you, little birdie. Dupless, that's his name. Now let's get your name and body back from that meanie. And we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. Okay, so this is- this is new, I think. Like, originally you had to do more backtracking, but they added this pipe that you can just go into. Yeah, I had a feeling about that. I think I know which text box you were trying to get there and it's still there. Oh. Well then hang on, let me go let me go back. I I apologize about the sniffling. I wish this didn't happen to me. They just hit it. Of this stupid parrot babble act. It's so demeaning. I'm guarding this dumb letter here. I should report that duplicate to the proper authorities. Unless he gives me a cracker. Okay, no, not that. Shine get! Shine get! <laughs> yeah. Again, Mario Sunshine was contemporary when this game came out. <laughs> I mean, it it's technically somewhat contemporary again, because you can play it right now on Nintendo Switch if you bought the freaking collection that they discontinued a couple months later. I can go in here. Uh, there's no reason to go in there, but I can do it. your magazine subscriptions, cause you're getting erased! But first, please amuse me with one more guess. It really gives me joy to watch you squirm in futility as you try to guess my name. So hit me one more time. Okay. So now we, we have the P. What? 
did you just say? It can't be! No, 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 <laughs> There's white puffs on the wind's breeze. But there's also red coins hanging around. Okay, now we're back. Yeah, so that, that does cut down on a bit of the backtracking. So that's cool. It's like the Super Mario World Spring sound effect. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, they're not very good at this. But that's okay. That's okay, we're going back up. Big stained glass window. Is there anything over here? I don't think so. Okay, uh, we're good. I mean, I don't think the... I don't think it brings your star points back. So... I mean, maybe I'm horribly, horribly wrong about that. Hey, you again, eh, Slick? You're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. <clears throat> Little bit of a voice crack. Fine, fine. I see. I get it. Let's just put an end to this, shall we? All right, kids. Put on your fighting gloves. Ah, oh, woohoo! It's -a me. Sure thing, Mario. We're right here with you. This prank couldn't take us on his own, so he teamed up with one of the three minus two shadows. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're gonna taste the pain, Gonzalez style, Shadow Guy. Good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario? Mario? The guy who stole your name and body is Mario? That means you're Mario? Yeah. It's, it's true. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Guys kill that guy. Uh, Yahoo and stuff. Yeah, I love it so much. What's going on here, huh? Fight with your girlfriend! Well, don't expect any sympathy from us, ghoulies! Alright, Dupless round two. Yup, 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 yup! See? Your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me, Super Mario! All right. What? Damage? God, that's right. You guessed my name, and now stuff hurts sometimes. I'm sorry, my friends. But I have to do this. I'm... I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. I've... I've made my choice, and I'm not turning back.
Vivian's entire arc is so good. Mario, don't let your guard down, okay? Nope. Nope. <laughs> that piranha plant just ate somebody. You tried to do this to the great Super Mario! How dare you! Oh, that didn't work. Oh, it happened again! There's like... <laughs> There's some freaking murder going on in the crowd. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. I pushed the button. I pushed it. Ah, I've almost had it. Super Mario's hurting. Ow. Nope. I mean, it's not cannibalism because that's only if you're the same species. But it is, you know, considered something of a dick move. No! Why? How? Eek! Mario! Yeah, boy. Yeah, brother. And I'm restored! Wait, where's my yellow? No, it's good. I know, I took the badge off. <laughs> Rats! You killjoys! I forgot what the voice was. It's been a while. What? He ran away. I mean, wait, what the heck is going on here? That wasn't the real Mario? Did we get shell winked? How could we ever mistake our dear Mario for another? You have our deepest apologies. So who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the three shadows you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair up with one of those creeps? Well, I, uh... Oh, yeah. oh, Mario, thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, alright? No sweat, right? Uh, listen, Mario, sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you'd have me. Vivian has really joined your party now. This is- this is for you. Chapter over for real this time! And we get Art Attack! You can tell it's real because Mario doesn't look like this. Mario defeated the rogue who had stolen his name and appearance. Now Mario has four crystal stars. That leaves a mere three more to find. And that means his quest to collect all of the crystal stars is more than half over. Now Mario heads off towards his next adventure with his new friend, Vivian. But what about Beldum and Marilyn? And what became of the doppelganger Dupless? Well, don't worry about that right now. Oh, never mind. Worry about it right now. Vivian is so very late. Where has that scatterbrain been all this time? Grr. Okay. And it hasn't been three hours, so we'll do the- we'll do this. We'll do the epilogue. Are you sure about this? Speak up, excellent. Yes, sir. Quite sure. I poured all over our research of the Thousand Year Door. And it appears that the ceiling power has definitely been weakening, as Beldum said. 
Finally, the treasure of legend. This ancient power of darkness will soon be ours. Listen and listen well. Keep giving that crystal star search top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum. Got it, sir. Soon I will have the power that has slept for a millennium. Soon I will have the power that has slept for a millennium. So very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. All will kneel before the Exnot regime. Then I, Grodis, will build a new world. A perfect ideal world. Yes, a world made by me, about me, and for me. <laughs> Tech, did you call me? What shall I do today? Will it be dancing perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I... I am conflicted. Huh? What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important? Carrying out an order or protecting a critical person. I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do, really. What do you mean? No, no, never mind. Please forget my musings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let us have a quiz. Quiz? That is right. I'm about to ask you a series of questions. Please choose the correct answer among three options. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now, the first question. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Uh, the door. Correct. Now, the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the Exnots? Correct. Now, the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand-year door? Tech, is this? Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand-year door? Correct. Now, the fourth question. What does Sir Grotish wish to do with this ancient demon soul? Correct. Now, the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? Correct. You have correctly answered all five questions. Now, you may use the communicator. Tech, you... Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. Uh, okay, I'm done. Would you send it? The message has been sent. That is all for now. Please go back to the room. Thank you. You're still a weird computer, Tech. Th that's not nice. That dude, dude, dude just gave you like a ton of information. Good night, Princess Peach. I mean, he is, but... She's right, but she shouldn't say it. But now for this guy. Oh, how can I make this about me? My lord! I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Let's ride the cheap cheap blimp there. Come now. You there, two tickets. One great and evil king, and one sweet young thing. G -g Good gravy. B Bowser, the evil king, and a deluded old hag. I, uh, life's too short. 
Yeah, I, I just, just let him just just let him do whatever he wants. Just bow, let Bowser on the blimp. Who cares? What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskate! Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? Yeah, he, he kind of has his own flying car. <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'm, I'll be riding this, baby. I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problemo. No problemo. You go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. Lord Bowser, please! Oh! Now my special dirigible deluxe brown cami lunch will go to lace! Go to waste! I almost said that. I almost got through that. Wouldn't you like to ride in that thing? I I spit on my screen doing that. <laughs> I, I got spit all over my monitor. Well, not all over, but I did spit. Oh, a warning light. Oh, don't tell me. What if Bowser said that? <laughs> All of a sudden, I don't think I want to ride in that thing. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Super Bowser World, brothers. But now we're underwater. Hey, we get to play a 2D Mario level. This is more fun anyway. Eh, eh. Give me the meat. Give me that good meat. Love the way he swims. Yep. Just full rotation on all the limbs. Uh, uh. 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 It's a little mindless, but it's fun. It took until intelligent systems for somebody to say, Hey, you know what? Playing as Bowser might actually be the coolest thing ever. Luckily, they, they also let you play as him in Bowser's Inside Story. And he's pretty cool in that, too. Which I... I feel bad that I have not streamed any of the Mario and Luigi's, but we're gonna try and make up for that. I probably will not be streaming Brothership. Because, like I said, there's, there's continuity involved, and I... Like I said, I still have five other ones I haven't streamed yet. But I'll probably replay it at some point, and I, I could stream that. That was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Who's- Whoa! He's Bowser, the Koopa King! There you are, Lord Bowser! What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Women. Really? Neat! As for me, Glitzville was fantastic! The fights there were so cool! I was overcome! Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me! And then, the hot dogs! Oh my gracious! Yummily! You have fun too, hmm? <sighs> Lord Bowser, is that a no? It was terrible, you hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper! I want that fun! But forget it, it's over. Go 
Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars now. Yeah, they're having a good time. I can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? <laughs> nah. You're a bigger man than I, Mario. Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You brought us a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario, we need to get on back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit anytime you like. So nice to be back on my body. It's too hard to get around as a pig. But I never go anywhere or do anything cool anyway, so maybe it wasn't that bad. You know, I always used to love pork chops, but now that I, I think about the poor pig... Hmm. Hey, you don't think maybe I was a pig in a past life, do you? What a concept. So dark here. I wake up and think it's still night sometimes, so yeah. Big bright sun goes down. Big pale moon comes up. I like moonlight, yup. Okay, cool, cool for you, bro. That's pretty epic. Okay, I'm gonna do like one or two more things and then, uh, and then I will stop. Like I have two things in my, oh, well, besides reading this email. Oh my goodness, Mario, sounds like you got an email. My dear Mario, I've finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It's the spirit of a demon. The Exonauts plan to use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door and unseal the demon's spirit. Those same crystal stars can also be used to reseal it. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans, Princess Peach. An ancient demon spirit? I mean, you were working for him. You tell me you don't know. You telling me you don't know about that? Oh, look at him wiggle. Look at him, look at him go. I don't have time for battling. No, no time. I'm sure Beldum doesn't tell Vivian anything. True. True. Okay, so one of two things I want to do. Well, there might be one other. There might be another thing. But first thing, uh, there's a little hole, a little hole in this dude's house that I can now go through. And there's a shine sprite back here. So that's cool. That's fun and good. Okay, so you can go back. No, I, I thought that was a hole, but you can go in this way. <laughs> Come out of that dude's drawer. I'm a little concerned about that, but I, I, I guess that's his problem. Okay, do you have any cool things? Oh, you got Jump Man. Hmm. You know what? I'll buy Jump Man. Uh, anything cool in here? Wait, hang on. Strange rumors of Twilighters being turned into pigs. Scary news, folks. Okay, that's it. Graffiti Corner. I like the dark space behind this message board. Maybe I'll hang here more often. Darkly. <coughs> Okay. Oh! Super Luigi. Oh, my brother published an autobiography. I'm not gonna read it right now, though. I'm gonna leave you in suspense. I don't know where Luigi actually is. He might be over here. I don't know. I don't see him. He's gotta be here somewhere. But first, power up Vivian. Give her a power up. 
Yeah, see, that's the kind of benefits you get when you're on the side of good. Okay, but there's... There's actually two more things I want to do before I stop. First is, there's a room down here... ...where I can now get the thing. She technically knew Fiery Jinx when she fought you. Shh. We don't need to talk about that. Okay, so yeah, if you remember this room... ...the room with all the mini spikes... Got the Spike Shield Badge! Yeah, this is... This is the room where I would expect to find that, yes. Okay, so I know I don't get the pipe to Twilight Town until after I've shown the map to the- th or taken the crystal star to the Thousand Year Door. It's not a-, a no, it's a non-super guardable move, so you still take damage. But does she take damage? That's the question. But yeah, I almost forgot I got a cookbook. Hey, Mr. Contact Smusher, listen to this. I got the lowdown on a book that can turn anyone into a Master Chef. Master Chef from Halo? I went to the Trouble Center in the east part of town and recruited someone to find it. If you like helping folks out, right, you gotta swing by there. I'll reward you. So anyway... Oh, okay. I have to- I have to take her trouble before I can give it to her. So let me just swing on by there and do that. Because just like in Paper Mario 64... ...you can get access to recipes with two items. Oh. That might be a quest I have to do. Oh yeah, I didn't finish this one. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel for now. Oh, no, I didn't mean to choose that. Wait, why, why did I go in there? <laughs> that's, not, that's not the right door at all. Hey, you took out my trouble? Well, it's really important, so listen up, Mr. Klutz. Ages ago, there was this great legendary chef named Maitre de Delish. Rumor has it you instantly become a better chef by reading his book. Unfortunately, it's an old book that's hard to find. Stores don't carry it. But I recently heard that someone who used to live in Creepy Steeple had a copy. There are many secret rooms in Creepy Steeple, so it's moldering there somewhere. Moldering? I just have to get my hands on that book and read it. Help me out, Stumblebum. Way ahead of you. Ah! That's it! That's the book by Mater D Mater Delish! Mata Dooby Ha! I, I, I see! Aha!
I've got it now. Just glaze a mushroom with honey syrup for a yummy honey mushroom. Brilliant. Now I can use recipes that require two ingredients. Now that's some book. Talk about effective. Thanks, Mr. Staggers. Take this as your reward. Or I could have given you a reward, but you have too much stuff. I'll just leave it here, so grab it whenever. Oh, okay. So I gotta... <laughs> Probably self-explanatory, but moldering means decay. Yeah, I kind of figured from the context, I just had never heard anyone use that word. Somebody on this team had a thesaurus. Okay, let's, uh... Let's put that in there. Let's put that in there. Okay. Now... What was the... what was... No wait, my email was over here for some reason. What was the recipe? What was the recipe? Honey syrup, okay. Do I have... is that the one I have? No, I have maple syrup. That... I cooked... I cooked that before, didn't I? I don't know. I'll, I'll check some other time. But yeah, pretty cool. That's chapter four. I like it a lot. And next time, as math tends to go, we will check out Chapter 5. But I might do a side quest first, because there's a, a certain side quest that I'm very interested in doing, and if you don't know why, you will see why. But until then, probably next time, I will, I will see you around. Have a good night, or whatever time it is for you. And thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you very muchly, everybody.